Hello and welcome to the dashboard course by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to create a bullet chart in Excel. Here I have an example of a bullet chart. Bullet chart was conceptualized by data visualization expert Stephen Few and you would see that this single chart would tell you a lot about the data. So for example, if you look closely, you would see that there are four bands in gray color. The first one, the dark gray band from 0 to 60% is poor. From 60 to 75% is fair. From 75% to 90% is good. And 90% to 100% is excellent. Now I also have a value here, which is represented by this vertical bar in black color, which would be the value that that the that parameter has achieved so in this case it is employee satisfaction then this black bar would indicate what is the employee satisfaction value and then at the top in red we have the target value so you can see that if you look at this chart you would know that in this year 2015 employee satisfaction is below the target value but it is in uh, the good range which is from 75 percent to 90 percent now let me show you the data here. I have employee satisfaction score for three years. I have stacked these values so that uh, the sum of all these values would be 100% because these are the bands that I've created. So my poor was from 0 to 60%. Then from 60% to 75% was fair. So I do not write 75% here. Rather I make it in a way where poor plus fair combined would be 75% so that I can make it stack up here. Then 75% to 90% was good so I make 15% here and then 90% to 100% was excellent so this is 10%. The value in this case is 85% and my target for all these three years is 90%. Now let me show you how to create this chart from scratch. So let me delete this chart. I would select this data and I would go to insert and within insert I would insert this tagged column chart. As soon as I do that you would see that all these values poor, fair, good, excellent, value and target all these have been plotted separately but this is not what I want. I want them stacked in one single column in one single bar. So to do that I would select this chart I would go to design and here I would select switch row column and as soon as I click on it you can see that now I have everything stacked up as one bar. Now what I need to do here is I need to show these four bands and I need to also show the value and target. So to do that I would have to put these in one axis and value and target in a separate axis which is the secondary axis. So to do that I would first go to this value which is the target value I would right click and I would say change series chart type. Here when I click on it, it opens the change chart type dialog box. I have all these series here. In target, I would convert it into a stacked line with markers and when I click on it and may put it on secondary axis, you can see that now it would look like a dot here and there would be a secondary axis as well. So now let me click OK and as soon as I do that, the target value here looks like a dot here with a secondary axis. I don't need secondary axis so I would delete it. What also happens is as soon as I delete the secondary axis my both these axes the primary and secondary axis now are equal so here it is 200 percent and if I press Control Z you would see here it was 100 percent which is not correct I want both of these to have similar similar scales so when I delete it now both all these data points would have this scale. Now I would go to this dot, right click and select format data series and here I would change the marker type. So I would go to marker and here I have to change the marker type. So in marker options you have built-in options. Here I would select a dash because as you saw I need to show this as a dash and I would increase its size. Let me for now make the size as 20 and I can also change the color. Make, let me make it red. So this is border. I would also fill it with red color. Now my target line is ready. 
I also have to change the value and put it on secondary axis. So I would right click, go to change series chart type again and also put this on secondary axis but I would leave this as stacked column bar chart. Now when I click OK, you can see I have these values. What is happening here is this, this is my value which is 85% and this is the target. Now I would select this value, right click go to format data series and here I was, would increase the gap width and as I do that you can see that it is the its width is narrower than the width of these these uh, these values which would then form the qualitative bands so in this case let me make it 350 and I would also change the color of these bands here at the back so I would simply go here and select dark gray for this one a lighter shade for the for the other one which is fair for good even a lighter shade and for excellent the lightest one so now I have these bands I would change the color of this bar to black so that I'm recreating the chart that I showed you I would delete these I can also delete delete this here it shows one but I can change this to employee satisfaction 2015 by simply going to design I would go to select data in here I would change horizontal category access label by editing it and selecting this. So now it displays employee satisfaction 2015 and I can now simply change the width of this chart to fit it perfectly. If you think that you need to change the size of this marker or this dash, this target line, then you can do that. So this is how you can create a bullet chart and uh, as you change these values, if I change this to say 70%, then you can see that this would automatically change. Now, what if you do not have one single uh, target or one single value? In this case, I have three employee satisfaction 2015, 2014, and 2013. So, to add these, simply select this chart and drag this blue line to cover all these. And as soon as I do that, you can see that these have been incorporated. Let me make the width a bit better in this case you can see that these have adjusted automatically if you want you can again change the uh, size of this marker and you see a line here if you want to remove this line simply right click on it and maybe from here you can say no fill oops I have to select this marker so I would select this line right click go to format data point and here in fill in line I would say no line I can do that for this as well so the line goes away and now you have uh, this bullet chart for all these three uh, years and it shows employee satisfaction for all these three years now if in this case I have the poor value which is the same for all these charts similarly I have fair value which is same good value which is again same and excellent value is same in case this is not same so for example in this case say if I make it 10% and I make it 20 so that the summation is always 100 you can see that these bands have changed but if that is not the case then what you can also do is instead of having these as separate uh, bars you can combine all these three so that it looks like a consistent band and to do that I would simply select this right click go to format data series and here I would say series over I would actually reduce this gap gap width and here as soon as I make it zero you can see that now it looks like a consistent band here so you can also use this technique if all these bands are at the same level if they are not then you can anyway go back to the previous one so let me control Z and show you this one you can anyway go back to this one a bullet chart is a very useful chart in dashboarding because a single chart gives you a lot of information it will give you these qualitative bands it would give you uh, the value as well as the target value so this is how you can create a bullet chart in Excel I hope you found this video useful thank you and have a nice day